Hey it's Em and welcome to my second speed build on this channel. I am so excited because I am finally uploading another speed build. It feels like ages, it's only been two weeks since my first one but I do love them. <laughs> and this one, I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't really sure where I was going with it. As you can see I played around a lot and there's a lot of things that I start to do in this video and then decide to change and I cut a lot of that out last time and then I thought, you know what? part of the process and it just takes so long for me to end up deciding what I want to do and how I want a build to look and I started off with this like really dark kind of vibe as you can see and Josh walked in who you have met now we had our first Jomily Sims episode go up last week and he walked in while I was making this house and he went it looks really gothic and I was like yeah this is not the vibe I'm going for. <laughs> so I then changed it, I found this lighter kind of stone that went with the thatch a little bit better and I decided that I wanted to do a house and make it a bit bigger and do a bit of a farmhouse rather than just a little cottage because I thought it looked a lot more like put together and basically I just wanted a lot more space because I wanted a big kitchen I say big kitchen, the kitchen actually didn't turn out that big, but <laughs> I wanted like a decent sized kitchen and a nice dining table space for when guests and stuff come over and just I thought they would have a couple of kids and you know enjoy the space in their house basically. So that is what I went for, so as you can see I finally decided that I liked the lighter look and wanted to go with that, so yeah went with it, changed the windows so many times and then I discovered these little ones with the blue shutters on, actually loved them, they look really nice I think, so yeah that went well, that kind of got me out of a bit of a window drama when I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> so once I got the windows in place I kind of knew what wood tones and stuff I wanted to go for and I knew that this lighter wood kind of pine sort of look was definitely the way that I wanted to go forward with this build and I actually really love how this build turned out. I really didn't like it to start with and when I was doing this sort of process I was like this is not coming together how I wanted or expected it to but I feel like it kind of works and once we get to furnishing the inside and then finally decorating the outside and doing all the landscaping stuff I feel like it actually kind of comes together. I feel like I always hate my houses to start with because when they're just a basic boring looking box it's like is this gonna turn out well or is it not because at the moment I'm not too sure but I am happy with this. This is a house that I would definitely play in. I think I might have said this in the last video but I really hate big houses in The Sims and I love building them. They're so much fun to build and decorate and landscape for but I really hate playing in them. I just feel like I lose my Sims. They kind of end up all over the place and then I have to keep clicking on their little faces to <laughs> go and find them which I don't like. I like to be able to have them all in the house and I can see what they're all up to and like just control it a lot easier from that perspective. When you say it like that, the sim sounds really weird, you're just controlling people, but that is it, that is literally what you do. I sort of feel like I'm in the Truman Show when I say it like that. <laughs> Has anyone seen that film? Oh, love Jim Carrey, so good. Anyway, back to the build. <laughs> As you can see, I remembered this time to put lights on inside the actual house before I furnished it because it was really dark for you guys last time to see what was going on and I didn't even really notice, to be honest. <laughs> and then I put the lights in and thought, oh, okay, this is a lot brighter. Maybe I should have done that to start with and I just didn't think about it last time. So this time I made an effort and I was like, I'm gonna put the lights on first which I did, so I hope you're proud of me because I was very proud that I remembered to do that. <laughs> so for information about this house, I've called it the Daisy Farm because when you see me landscape, you'll understand why. I put a lot of daisies in the landscaping and the garden stuff of this build and I kind of went a bit overboard on the flowers, but I'm hoping you guys think it looks okay. I thought it looked all right, so I went with it. <laughs> I built it in Henford on Bagley and I absolutely love that world, I think it's so cute. I actually love this pack, this whole entire situation with the cottage living, I just love it. It's definitely my sort of gameplay, I'm definitely a family and animals kind of girl <laughs> and love doing all of that sort of stuff in The Sims so when this pack was released it was just right up my street and I think it was for a lot of people. Um, so I'm hoping you guys like this build and want to play in it. 
if you do want to play in it then it is a three bedroom two bathroom house there is an animal shed outside and in the animal shed you can either put a llama or a cow i believe so that is up for your choosing <laughs> and i decided to make the lot traits kind of go with the theme of the house so i chose homey great soil and the sunny aspect traits and it is a residential lot obviously it's a house um, and I built it on a 30 by 20 so obviously you can put it on a bigger lot if you put it on a smaller lot it's gonna cut some of the landscaping and stuff out but it shouldn't be too bad if you do want to make it smaller um, but yeah I actually really liked this and really enjoyed making it in the end I was doing this bit that you're currently watching me do I was doing this at 3 a.m because I had been out and just didn't really know what was going on in my life at that point and I ended up with no time to film this so I was doing this at 3am last night this video goes up tonight it is currently quarter to six as I say this and the video was supposed to go up at five o'clock and obviously it's gone past that so I do apologize that it's late but I have been incredibly busy the last couple of days these past couple of days have been so chaotic and busy it's actually kind of ridiculous and We've just had like life stuff going on basically and then it was our friend's birthday so we went out and just tried to like relax after a stressful few days so yeah i'm kind of coming down from a stressor of a week and i did in doing that i've basically just ended up making this video late so i do apologize but hopefully you guys still like it and it was worth doing and making this house and staying up for 3am for because I did actually enjoy it. It was a nice little debrief and break from life at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm definitely a massive night owl and I love doing stuff like this in the early hours of the morning. I'm definitely more creative at that time of day or night even <laughs> and I just for some reason was like I need to do this tonight and I was going to get up really early this morning and do it and I was like no do you know what I'm just going to do it now and decided to stay up and make this and I'm really glad I did. I think I'm a lot more creative and work better at night purely because the rest of the world around me is quiet and there's no like hustle and bustle of the everyday when everyone's up and doing things you're like oh you've got to be doing this at this time and here and there and everywhere. It's just more relaxing. I think and it just kind of gives your brain a bit of space to breathe and think and you just end up enjoying yourself a lot more or at least I do I normally just enjoy the time to myself when the rest of the country that I'm in is quiet and I just love it it's so nice so yeah definitely a night owl not a morning person although I say that I've been trying the miracle morning routine lately and today was the only day that I haven't done it in like a week so I'm actually really happy with that and the only reason I didn't today was because I stayed up last night doing that and I just had no energy this morning basically missed my alarm and stayed asleep but I think I needed it so yeah I've had a nice cozy chill day today finishing this and just hanging out basically it's been great <laughs> Because I did film this over a couple of days, I came away from it and then went back and decided that I didn't like some of what I'd done. So I changed some stuff. So you will see me change an awful lot of stuff in this video. And I was just so completely indecisive and didn't know what I was doing with it. And it really annoyed me, <laughs> but we get there eventually. And then I was doing the screenshots and stuff at the end. And I was like, I didn't even put a bin in. I didn't put a mailbox in or a letterbox, if you're from the UK, I don't know why I said mailbox, that was very American, but I didn't put a letterbox in, or a postbox, and I didn't put a bin in for the outside, which was really frustrating. Thankfully I did actually notice it when I play tested it, and you can see here I put the toilet in that corner, and then I did a toddler's room, and put a potty down on the floor next to the toilet, but like in front of the shower, if that makes sense, in between the two, and I play tested it to make sure that she could still use the toilet and stuff and while I was doing it I was like why is there a random letterbox just outside the front door oh yeah that makes sense because I didn't place one did I <laughs> so I then went back and actually put one in and did it next to the bridge at the front which you will see eventually 
There's also a lot of mismatched wood in this house <laughs> and that was kind of intentional. I did try to match things where possible and then anything I couldn't, I just tried to change up and make a little bit different but it still kind of went with the theme. I figured that because they were farmers, it would kind of make sense that they were able to make their own furniture and stuff. So I kind of played on the mismatched wood theme a little bit and used it to my advantage to kind of create a bit of backstory for myself, which actually helped when I was building. And I feel like it kind of paid off. I feel like it's fine. So we roll with it. <laughs> As you can see here, I am doing the toddler room. I absolutely love doing kids rooms and decorating them. I love playing around with the colors and the different toys and stuff that they can get. I just find it so much fun and a lot more entertaining than doing an adult's bedroom. <laughs> I might actually do some room builds and just do like kids bedrooms or teen bedrooms or a kitchen or something. So if you guys like that and wanna see me do that, then do let me know and I will try and get those videos up for you. This room here I actually found really difficult because I was trying to figure out some sort of layout and I didn't know whether I wanted her to be younger or older because I was thinking of like a girl that could have this room and just be like kind of pre-teen-ish. So she'd still want a bit of fun and like a few of her toys and things like that. But I was also thinking that she might maybe want to start kind of transitioning into like older life and having a few nicer things in her room and not so childish. And that was kind of where that little dresser came in. I thought that it looked a little bit more grown up for her to have. I feel like she'd appreciate that as she starts to become older. She can have her own like nice dresser and stuff like that because obviously the toddler doesn't have a dresser. So yeah, that was kind of my thought process with that. Also, I love that dragon. I don't think I've ever put that in a kid's room before and it just went perfectly with the color scheme. I was like, I kind of need to put this in. I love it. Okay, so we're now at the point in the build where I was pretty happy with the inside and what I've managed to do in there and then I decided to move outside and start doing the decoration and I wasn't really aware of what kind of farming stuff there was in The Sims because I haven't really played around with this pack much since I got it. I just haven't played The Sims a lot in recent times. I've just been super busy, hence why I made this channel because I wanted to make more time for it. <laughs> so I decided to mess around and try and find stuff that I actually wanted to put outside first. And I found this little bike that I thought was really cute and it's just got its little stand. And that was all I could find that I wanted to sort out right now. And then I decided to try and make a pond. I don't normally experiment too much with ponds. I just do the basic look of a pond and roll with it. And I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I pulled this bridge out of the debug menu and tried to work with it. And every time I tried to place it down, I was getting really frustrated because of the terrain. As you can kind of see here, nothing was really working and I was trying all sorts of like platforms and stuff to try and do the bridge and in the end I ended up just doing this and making my own. This was actually a lot easier and I could match it and kind of customise it to the house a little bit which I really like. Because of the rustic look of it, I feel like it kind of draws your eye to it and it becomes a bit of a feature for the whole build which I really like. And as you can see, I was playing around with the foundations a lot. And then I discovered that there's the ones from Island Living and they are basically just stilts and they're supposed to go in water. And it looks so much better because you can see the water going under the bridge, which I love. I think that looks a lot nicer than just having a standard foundation under it. I tried to add some decoration to it with those little wall plant things that you got from the cottage living pack and I feel like it kind of helped to blend it in a little bit more because otherwise the wood tones really stuck out and it was really obvious that it just was like a homemade thing and while that's fine it's just not the look I was going for so I added those little plants and it actually came out alright I think. I then started doing some actual landscaping as you can see here and normally for landscaping I kind of try and stick to like three colours mainly for the majority of the plants. So with this obviously the brown wood tones of the house I kind of went for yellow, white and orange and I actually really like the landscaping. Again like I said in the last video I do hate landscaping <laughs> because it takes me 
ages, like hours to landscape and it is honestly ridiculous. I am so slow at building houses, it's just silly. <laughs> so landscaping is a bit of a bugbear for me, but I really like the effect of it and I love it when it's done and it definitely makes all the difference to a build. So that is what I was trying to do and landscaping the pond was really annoying because I kept messing up the terrain so I had to keep like flattening it and smoothing it out so that things would sit on it properly. And this little back porch area she turned out to be a kind of a quiet zone and I put that little bench out there because I thought it would be nice to like look out onto the woods because like I said I did build this in Henford or Bagley which is the world that came with the cottage living pack and there is a lot of trees and forestry around so I thought that would be a nice little quiet spot to just take in the scenery and kind of forget about the world for a little while. I thought that the sims that would live here would want to do that. With this house being a farmhouse sort of build I thought the landscaping in the outdoor space was really important to get right and to make an entertaining nice space to be in. So I always put these little lights around the plants. I think it looks so much better at night when you do that. And I just literally sized down a small little outdoor light and then put it wherever it needs to go to make the lighting look good. <laughs> I was sort of thinking that the Sims that live here would really enjoy gardening and would have a green thumb and would just be able to take care of the land that they own. Obviously it's a farmhouse so there's animals and things and obviously you can have a llama or a cow in the back in that animal shed but I did also put food bowls and stuff down for a dog so if you did want to have a dog or two in this house then that's easily attainable as there's already stuff there so I did include all of that and I do love putting cats and dogs stuff in my houses because I feel like when you have pets in your home it just makes it so much more homely. I personally grew up with a dog and I was 10 when we got her and she was three months old and she is still with us. I have moved out now so I don't live with her anymore which is really really sad but she is 13 and she is actually part of the stress that we've had this week because she went to the vets yesterday and they said that there was a leaky valve in her heart or something. They weren't sure if it was a leaky valve or whether it was a heart murmur but they think they could hear fluid so they think it's that which is horrible and that was like part of my stress this week and that literally happened yesterday. So that was fun didn't really want to film for a little bit after that. The thought of losing her is just horrible. She is honestly my best friend. <laughs> We've grown up together and not living with her now is really, really strange. She does come to stay with us occasionally and she is in a few of my vlogs. If you do want to see her, she's a Dalmatian. She's gorgeous, bless her, my little baby. <laughs> but she is in some of my vlogs on my main channel. So if you do want to see that, then I will leave my main channel linked in the description as always and any other social links if you do want to follow me on any of that but yeah she is my little cutie and I miss her terribly now that I don't live with her and now it's just extra stress because they think there is something wrong with her so that's fun it's been a great week in terms of stuff going on Yesterday was a great day, we just ended up with so much stuff going on and we also had a letter saying that we hadn't paid council tax since we moved in, which one was wrong because I had paid the first month and then I thought that it was just on a direct debit and we both thought that it was just coming out of our accounts and we didn't have to worry about it. Turns out the direct debit hasn't worked so we haven't paid council tax for like seven months and now they've just given us a lump sum and been like if you don't pay it it's also going to go up so that's like £1400 which is just ridiculous. So yeah, it's been a great week. I'm glad it's the weekend now. <laughs> so as it is the end of the week, it's now also the end of this video and we are into the screenshots. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. This house turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to from the start of this video when I didn't really know what I was doing, so that went well. So if you do want to see more from me or you do want to download this house, my origin ID is heyitsm286. I also have a main channel under that name on YouTube if you want to look for that, it's all in the description if you do. As with all the lot values and traits and stuff like that that I list down there as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post and I will see you all very very soon. Bye!